One year ago, we discovered what life was like for an Eton pupil. Now, 12 months on, we've returned to see how things have changed. Well, it's been a turbulent first semester here at Eton. Oh, you can say that again. Will you sit down, Vice Principal? Well, I would, but we've lost a few seats. Bloody Teresa. I oh, know. Well, we've started work on this year's school play. Yes, I've chosen fantastic Mr. Fox. And we're also in the process of recruiting some new staff. Yes, sadly we had to part ways with Dr. Chinsbury Winchester. He had to leave because of an operation. No, because of Operation U Tree. Oh, really? I thought he'd broken something. Yes, the law. It's 11 a.m. and the boys are enjoying some refreshments at brunch. Could you pass the red down, please? Yes, of course. Thank you. Bloody good menu today. Yes, I fancy Chef Cameron's pork stuffing. I'm having the venison nuggets. No, no, no. They've had to cancel them. They've cancelled the venison nuggets. First the truffle twizzlers, now this. It's that bloody Jamie Oliver. <laughs> bloody pest. Bloody interfering. Yeah, bloody <laughs> Boys, can I have your attention, please? Ah, finally. Waiter, boy! No! Boy. He isn't a waiter, Earl. This is David. He's a new pupil here. <laughs> what? Well, oh, hell. <laughs> what? Look! I don't bloody believe this! What? I can't believe the school's accepting him. Who? Bloody Johnny Foreigner. Yes? Now look, David is British and has us just as much right to be here as any of us. I won't tolerate any bullying. David, would you like a refreshment? Oh, no, thank you. I prefer white. Hey, ah! He's just like us. Ah! Oh, yes. You'll be mad at here, old boy. boy. <laughs> yes, I'll be right in my bed. It's 1 p.m. at Eton, and Professor Bean is teaching RE. Now, boys, we hear many different theories as to who created the world, but as we know, there's only one answer. And that is our Lord and Saviour, Margaret Thatcher! Amen to that. Sorry to interrupt, I've got some rather terrible news. Dr. Chinchbury Winchester isn't back, is he? No. Oh, thank Thatcher for that. Unfortunately, we've had to cancel our daily cigar break. Oh, oh no. bloody hell! Bloody hell, this is poppycock! How come? Well, as you know, Eton College is a registered charity. Oh, what? Oh, you must have heard of a charity. Where people give something to those less fortunate than themselves? Like a filthy look? Yeah. Or oh, kick up the backside? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's bloody good for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> all right, <laughs> all right, all people. Like grateful pizzas, you know. All right. Now it seems that people would rather waste their money on the terminally ill. <sighs> we need to show them who really needs it. Benjamin dreams of going to Oxford or Cambridge, but without proper funding, he won't be able to bribe the Chancellors. Just £20 a day is enough for Arthur to do what he loves and taunt the homeless. Oscar is 70 years old and struggles to do the simplest of tasks, but with your help, Samson could fire him and hire a much younger butler. With your contributions, we can really make a difference. Do, do the, the right, right thing. thing! Next time on Educating Eaton, the caretaker tries to clean more than he should. Who's next in the shower? Oh, bloody hell. And the big school play doesn't quite go to plan. <laughs> right, boys. Who's next in the shower? <laughs> <laughs>